Yo, what's up guys, Maverick here and welcome back to another Draft of Glory. In this Draft of Glory, we have got so many packs to open, which hopefully leads to a few walkouts, maybe a massive pull. I mean, that's hoping for the best, of course, but I am going to be opening because as you guys know, some of you may know, I have moved over to my Road to Glory account for the Draft to Glory. That's a mouthful to say, but... I am going to be opening my rival's rewards. Now, I actually ended in rank one in division four. So that means I'm going to get some decent rewards for that. So I'm going to open those. I'm then also going to do the draft as normal and open the draft rewards. So there's going to be so many packs and hopefully so many big pulls. But I'm going to go straight into it. Division's rivals. Choose the options. Now, I could take the 58k coins, which... <sighs> I mean, it looks like a nice option, but I'm going to go for the untradeable packs. I'm going to believe in the process and I'm going to hope and pray that we get some really, really good pulls in these. And obviously moving forward for my Road to Glory, which is a stream based series, I'm then going to hopefully be able to burn them into SPCs and a lot of things in the future, which are going to save me a lot of coins. So as you can see there, rank one is completed. Um, I do get two rare players packs i'm pretty sure yeah two rare player packs two gold packs and two mega packs with 195 qualification points so we've got a nice eight packs to open at the end guaranteed we're then also going to have the packs from the draft that we do we have got 20,000 coins at the moment so we're going to go over into the draft we're going to start building the draft and hope that we get something good 4231 wide looks like it might be the one i go for 41212 wide um 5221 442 holding i'm gonna go for yeah i'm gonna go 4231 wide uh that's what i'm gonna go for in this draft hope that we get a cristiano ronaldo as i always hope that we do um we don't in this situation but abamyang is really really good on this game he is premier league of course so i'm gonna go for that on the left mid position hopefully we do get a premier league player um, we do not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for Christian Tellers. I'm going to go Christian Tellers because he's obviously got the most winger style stats. He is pretty damn quick, which is useful in this game. We've then got Richie. We've got Townsend on the right hand side. I'm going to go for Townsend just for that chemistry with Aubameyang coming into the cam position. We do get Delhi Ali, which is a really, really nice option there. That gives me a lot of chemistry. Obviously, Raul Garcia would as well. But Delhi Ali for me, is the most usable in game. So I'm going to go for him there. I'm going to hope for a Spanish La Liga CDM. No, but I get a Spanish English CDM. Which does link both of them. But then I do get Jordan Henderson. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Jordan Henderson. And I hope on the right hand side. That I get a La Liga CDM. So Sergio Busquets or something like that would be amazing. I do get a Vidal. Um, I do get a Kante. Kante would be amazing. I might have to just go full prem here. And take the Kante. Fabinho as well is amazing in this game. Um, so I think I'm going to go Kante and just hope that I do get a Premier League um, left mid throughout the options, the reserves and subs. So I'm going to go Kante right back. Please be a Kyle Walker. I would love a Kyle Walker. There we go. It's like they heard me. He comes up in the first slot. So he gets himself in there. I'm a little bit annoyed that we're probably going to have to go full Prem. Van Dijk, what an option that is. What a draft this is looking like, by the way. What a draft this is looking like. David Luiz gets himself in there. Left back, a Luke Shaw will do. A Bertrand will do as well. Um, so that's actually really good. I can swap Van Dyke and them around. That's Please, just a Prem goalkeeper. That's all I need. A Prem goalkeeper. Fabricio uh, Gueta. I always say that wrong, but he's so OP in this game. So I'm going to go for him. And now... I can literally just build, hoping to get a left midfield from the Prem, and I can just build some serious super subs from here. So that is really nice to see. It's really going to help me out. We get Edison in goal. O Black as an option as well, but we're going to go Edison there, swap him in, and this team is looking very, very tasty. 
I'm gonna skip that because it looks absolutely horrendous. I'm gonna go 81 rated. We're just gonna play a rating game now, I think, guys. 86 rated Varan. What a nice option, but I can't fit him into the uh, squad at the moment unless we get a Marcelo um, or someone like Felipe Anderson. Guys, this draft is it's completed. What a draft this is. What a draft this is. So Felipe Anderson gets himself in there on the left mid. We've got 100 chemistry. I'm just going to go for the big boys now. Just the biggest pulls I can get. That's all I'm going to go for. Um, I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to go for Fernandinho, right? Because I actually think I prefer Fernandinho over Henderson. So I'm going to go Hendo in there. We have got the chem. You guys can't see it, but I think you guys can work out that I am 100 chem at this point. So I'm going to go for Binho in there. Take Hendo out. Going to skip that one because that is an awful, awful selection. 78 rated because it's the highest rated. And then Mbappe. Perfect super sub, absolutely perfect super sub. This draft is going incredibly well. Then we've got an 82 rated inform just for the rating. I'm going to take him. Cristiano Ronaldo, if there was ever. Mohamed Salah, this is actually getting long, guys. This draft is ridiculous. Ridiculous. But the problem is, I feel like I'm going to lose now because it is so, so, so good. Um. I would love, as I said, I'd love a Ronaldo as a super sub. We've got two more options to go. We've got Mbappe as a super sub. We've got Varane as a super sub already. Um, Ronaldo is not going to be in this selection, so I'm going to skip that and just go 77 rated. And final option. Again, I don't see a Ronaldo popping up in here, but we've got a Lucas Vazquez. So, guys, I am absolutely ecstatic with the way this draft has gone. I'm going to swap that there. And uh, look at this team. We've got Mbappe as a super sub. Lucas Vazquez who can come on as a super sub. We've got Varane who can come on as a super sub as well. David Luiz going CDM or something like that. This team is almost perfect. It's almost a team I would build outside of the draft. That's how good it is. We need a Premier League manager just to make sure Salah's on full chem. Um, but again, we get Sean Dice show. We've got full chem. We've got 100 chem, 185. That is the best draft. I have ever built on FIFA 19. Well, best draft since full release. We did actually build, I did actually build an amazing draft with AJ3 in an old video. If I haven't checked that out, check it out. Also guys, if you haven't checked out the previous draft to glory, I uploaded it at a crazy time. It was something like 10 p.m. instead of 10 a.m. UK time. So make sure you go check that out. Draft to glories, if we get the coins, they're gonna be coming out 10 a.m every morning guys so check the channel if you don't already smash the like button subscribe if you are new what a draft this is can i win it that's all we're asking now can i win it i'll see you in the first game and see how i get on opponent number one and uh, i didn't actually press record on this one so you can't see the gameplay but i'm going to show you the highlights pierre emmerich Aubameyang scored goal number one uh, very fortunate but tidy finish at the end I'm not gonna lie about that that was very very lucky from me though the deflection back was uh, a bit horrible and i had one like that scored against me in the last draft so uh it's a bit of justice against someone else um but yeah we go on we move on emmerich abamiang pihe emmerich abamiang scores another goal here tight feet tight finish beautiful beautiful finish from there you can see on the replay as well uh, it's fired into him tight control tight finish nice 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 finish from him there and uh, goal number three wasn't seen because he rage quit but as you can see he got a couple red cards as well well uh, i think he actually got ended up having three red cards but we move into game number two you've got deli ali coming forward here pierre emmerich Aubameyang running forward as well deli ali back into fernandinho look at that lovely play felipe anderson in form obviously is one to watch at the moment what an item this guy is. What a player this guy is. I loved him throughout this draft. I liked the entire team throughout this draft. They were so, so good for me. I put the ball into a dangerous area on the cross. Van Dijk attacks it. Salah picks it up. Again, very fortunate. And uh, that is a goal in my fortune. 26 minutes in to put me 2-0 no up. But sometimes you've got to take the rough with the smooth. And my new attitude of trying to be a lot more positive about things um, I'm going to do so even when my opponent scores goals like that. So uh, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, I don't know why I keep using his full name. Aubameyang goes in on goal. 
misplaces the pass, he misplaces his pass, my opponent really messed up here, Salah in, and uh, Salah's right foot, even from there Salah is not going to miss with his right foot, it is now 3-0 to me, 36 minutes gone into this game, Salah's blowing a kiss to the camera, we go in again with Salah down this right hand side and uh, wait for the run of Deli Ali. Deli Ali waits for the run of Felipe Anderson, what a header that is. LB cross in those situations guys it's really OP the defender seems to not be able to follow the attacker and uh, Felipe Anderson scores a header which you wouldn't associate him with if you watch him play in real life but here we go Deli Ali goes forward this time he waits for his position oh see you later oh see you later and uh, slightly dodgy finish but 5-0 5-0 win, you can't say it's full of luck. There are a couple of lucky rebounds and deflections in two of the goals that I remember. But uh, overall, rightly winner. Uh, rightly winner? Winner outright. There we go. And we've got Felipe Anderson going forward here. Deli Ali into Kante. Kante into Salah. Salah back into Aubameyang. And uh, time finish. I told you, time finesse finishes are so... So OP in this game, they're actually broken, that was the yellow and I think you'll see later on in this draft that I score with a red, uh, a banger with a red as well. It's It needs tweaking at the moment guys, it really does need tweaking, it's far far too easy to score good goals with it. But here we go, going forward once again, Deli Ali picks up the ball, passes it into Kante, Kante into Salah, Salah, nice little turn, there we go, there's the red time finish finish as I said. 2-0, 47 minutes gone, top of the box, time finesse, OP as hell. 2-0 to me, 47 minutes gone, we're starting to uh, enjoy ourselves, we're starting to enjoy this draft. Also, I'm going to ruin it for you a little bit early, but defensively, I was solid throughout this draft. What a fake shot that is from Salah, sent two defenders into Dele Alli. Nice little goal, but throughout this draft I was defensively solid and I didn't concede a goal until the final. Um, so I have just ruined it for you guys, but you can guess I'm 3 0 up in the 71st minute. The 71st minute, even. I'm going to go through to the final here. It's 4 0 to me, 72 minutes gone. Aubameyang this time with the goal. Well worked goal from me as well. Felipe Anderson, once again, the interchange between all of these players was so, so strong, so, so good. 5-0 to me. As I said, this is final time. We are going into the final of this draft and here we are. Felipe Anderson, once again, into Aubameyang. Aubameyang back to Felipe Anderson. Simple as you like, 36 minutes gone, 1-0 to me, cruising. As I said, until this point, <clears throat> or until this game, I didn't concede a single goal. My, defensively, I felt really, really solid and uh, really, really tight. We've got then Aubameyang coming forward once again into Fernandinho, into Salah. Salah waits for the run. Deli Ali with the time finish. I don't know why I timed it. I think it was more me just spamming B, wanting to make sure I get contact on the ball, but it's 2-0 to me. 46 minutes gone. And um, it's a good position to be in in the final. And uh, a positive position to be in in the final. Goretzka with the uh, drag back selling at Van Dijk there. He's uh, just twisting and turning. And uh, I don't know how that's evaded Van Dijk and David Luiz, but an overhead kick from Mertens there. Lovely execution. Lovely execution on that overhead. Um, a little bit unfortunate that I did concede that goal. And uh, he goes forward again here with Goretzka. Goretzka into Mares. I should never be conceding that one. That one got me very, very salty. I didn't react and I'm, not, I'm trying not to react, but I tackled him. I fully tackled him and uh, he got the rebound. This one as well. I've read it, I followed it and he slapped it top corner. 3-2, 73 minutes gone. So from being 2-0 up, I am in a bad position here. But like I said, I was trying to keep my head. I did keep my head actually, which is a surprise for me. And uh, I just kept going in this game, kept trying my luck, and Mbappe came on as a sub and a uh, timed finesse finish. Guys, uh, we know now, we know now they are so, so strong. So uh, I don't really need to talk about that too much, but Mbappe goes in and a uh, lovely finish from him. He turns the defender there into Aubameyang, back into uh, Varane, who I bought on the CDM because Fernandinho's stamina was low because he's just running about so much. Mbappe running forward into Bamiang waiting for Salah, Salah timed finesse finish. Guys, if you go back and look at my goals, the highest goal, type of goal I score is a timed finesse finish. It really is that simple guys, if you're not doing it, do it. 
it is that simple. Learn it, master it, do it. Even if you don't master it, you still score goals. Of course, I'm going to sweat that there. I want to make sure of the draft win. 115 minutes gone, 5-3 to me. But it's not the complete end of the drama because from the kickoff of the 5-3, he does go down the other end here. And um, I mean, you guys know if I cut it in, it's a goal. And he does actually score here. So here we go into Mertens. Mertens into Higuain. 5-4. But... A little bit too little too late. I held the ball out for the rest of this draft and uh, I finally won the final, guys. Boys and the few number of girls that watch this, the music is back. And I think that is what has led me to the win of this draft. I was so calm and composed throughout this whole draft. My new mentality, I said I want to be more positive. I don't want to, if you guys saw the tweet, I don't want to rage too much. And first game 3-0. Rage quit. Second game, 5 0. Third game, 5 0. And final game, I scored five again, but my opponent scored four. A few of the goals were a bit questionable, but again, I'm not going to let it affect me. I'm going to try and not let it affect me anyway. We'll see how long that lasts, but that is the idea behind this. Moving forward and using that mentality, we won the draft. So I'm buzzing about that. I'm actually buzzing about it. But we, what do we get for winning the draft? We get a Two premium gold packs and two gold packs. That is not great, but I won the draft. That's all I care about. We now have 13 packs to open. Well, 12 packs because I'm going to open the silver pack. I'll check if there's any others as well that are packs that we don't really want to open. But we could be in for a good time here, boys. Uh, if things and girls, of course, the few that do watch, we could be in for a lot of fun here. So. Obviously, the rare player packs and the mega packs are going to be last. I know they're from uh, the foot rivals or foot divisions, whatever you want to call it. So let's literally go left to right until we reach the 50k packs. Gold pack number one, who do we get? Can we start it off with a walkout? We can't, but Oscar, 82 rated. I mean, chemistry-wise, he actually helps the team out, I've got at the moment, but I don't think I am going to chuck him in. I think it's a case of, uh, let me compare his price real quick for you guys. I think for 800 coins, it's a case of sticking him on the transfer market. Um, these guys, I think I'm going to save them for the future. They're not going for much now, so I'm going to save them for the future to see if I can use them. We've obviously got some player contracts and things like that, which are vital at this stage. Obviously, I am running a road to glory, so all of these items are so, so vital in that respect. Again, we don't get a walkout, but we do get CDM. Okay, not useful for the team, but he is one I might chuck onto the transfer list to see what sort of coins I can get for him. Uh, these guys, unless they're going for crazy money right now, I think I'm going to save them for the future as well, just for SBCs or anything along those lines. I am, because they are from the big leagues, so I'm going to keep all of them. We're going to then move into the Jumbo Premium Gold Packs. We've got quite a few of these bad boys to open. I don't know which ones are tradable and which ones are untradable. Would have been nice to have a differential between them, um, so you could tell maybe a different card design or something, or art design or something like that. But... The new animation always scares me. It always scares me. I think we've got something good. Is that uh, that is Martins, 81 rated. He's got a lot of pace. Might be a potential super sub. Um, these are all untradeable items, so they can't be transfer listed. Okay, so none of them are duplicates there, which is good. They can all pretty much go to the club then. Everything can go to the club in that one. I think these ones might be the untradeable ones at the start then. And as we get further on, they are the tradable ones. But my pack luck has been pretty poor so far, guys. I'm not going to lie. We get an inform. I say it's been poor. We get an inform. Striker, Genk striker. He's 79 rated. Decent stats for a 79 rated. We do get an inform. We get a team of the week. That's, that's not great. But again, we could potentially use him in SBCs in the future when you need informs. 83 as well in there. These are all untradeable. Again, useful potentially in the future. So uh, I'm not going to complain too much about that pack. 83 rated and an inform from an untradeable. Could be a lot, lot worse. Could be a lot worse. So we continue on. We plow on with another jumbo gold pack. I just really want to see that bottom. We got another board, which is good. Portugal. That's going to be... Oh, I was going to say that's Bernardo Silva, but it's Quaresma. 84 rated 
looks like a very very decent sub to bring on in a cam position 88 dribbling 83 pace um is he five star skills i'm i'm pretty sure quaresma would be five star skills he is of course four star weak foot as well very very nice option to bring on again for spcs in the future could be very useful so i'm going to send all of that to the club we are getting towards the end guys we're getting towards the big packs this is where it needs to ramp up for me it really needs to ramp up for me are the boards going to go down they aren't it's german striker is i was going to say if that's Werner again i'm going to be a little bit upset but it's oot. and um potential potential future we've got some premier league players in there we've got some big league players in there so well, as I said, we're getting towards the business end here, guys. The business end. Premium gold players packs. I think this is the tradable ones. So we're looking to get some coinage back here. Not like that. We're not Sabitzer. That is going to be 81 rated. I mean, he is sellable. I'm pretty sure he will go for some coinage. Gulam as well, who is sellable. These are all items that I'm just going to chuck onto the transfer list. Farman as well. We get some coinage back for all of these guys. So, um, I mean, could be a lot worse. A lot, lot worse. We've got the next premium gold players pack. Please, 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 please. Can we have a walkout? Honestly, guys, I don't think we're ever going to get a walkout. I genuinely don't think we are ever going to get one. David Neres, who is fairly decent. And the rest of the pack, again, these are all tradable. So they are going to get themselves on the transfer list. And hopefully we can make a few coins out of that and uh, go into another draft for in the future. And finally, mega packs first. Because obviously the 50k packs there. So we're going to go mega pack number one. If I'm going to get a walkout, it's going to be in one of these four packs. I mean, that sounds like a Gary Neville statement there because I've only got four packs left. But I think you guys know what I mean. These were always the highest chances of a walkout. Not in this one. Is boards though. CDM, that's going to be Danilo Pereira. Very useful for SBCs in the future. 83 rated. Is there anyone usable in the rest of the pack? Not really, if we're being honest. No one else is usable, but again, some nice options for SBCs moving forward. Uh, we've got Bender as well, who's a duplicate. I think I can swap him with the duplicate in my club, which is tradable. So there we go. We've made some coins out of that, and that's almost useful. Mega pack number two. Come on. I want to see that staging. I want it to light up. Walk out. No. Please, EA. Boards down again. Spanish. Right wing. Callahan, 84 rated. Okay. Much better. Much, much better. Again, not amazing, but 84 rated Callahan, useful in SBCs. Uh, we then got Bellotti as well, really useful, um, especially at this stage in FIFA for me. So, okay. And some squad fitnesses, which, guys, as you know, worth their weight in gold with uh, the weekend league as early as tomorrow. And uh, get rid of that guy. You get no coins for him. But 50k packs. Oh, it's devastating. It's absolutely devastating. French. Centre back. I say it's devastating. But we pack a player I have in my squad. So that is some coins back. I've got some coins back. That's at least 15k back because that's what Kimpembe goes for. So every cloud, silver lining, right, guys? Every cloud. And Rudiger as well, potentially useful if I look to build a Premier League squad. We've got Gamero as well. Again, useful if I'm looking to go back to a Liga Santander squad. Look, use all of them. Swap that bad boy right there. Put him on the transfer list. We have made some coins in this episode. Now, final big boy pack. Please, EA, give me one walkout. That's all I ask for. Just the one walkout. You're actually joking. 
It's not even in a 50k pack, it's not even a boards down. My pack luck is awful, guys. It is diabolical. Absolutely diabolical. But do you know what? Mendy, Benjamin Mendy, that is nice. He is very, very useful. So, guys, we can start to make something a little bit different with our team moving forward. Uh, Mendy is a nice option. Obviously, I've got Tellez there right now, but it might be something I look at changing going into this weekend league. But Mendy gets himself into my club. Guys, that is going to wrap it up for, for this video. If you did enjoy it, please do smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you are new and haven't joined the Wolfpack yet. Next Thursday, it looks like, is going to have to be the time for us to get a walkout. I'm gutted because I'm seeing people like Net pack some crazy people on his pack-only road to glory. Nick, 28T, packing some serious stuff. Even Haber is packing some great stuff. But guys, I'm going to have to say peace. I'm happy. I want a draft. For once, I'm actually being positive, which I hope you guys enjoy. And um, I'm out. <laughs>